Right, I'm just going to test this 3 phase motor with a multimeter just to make sure it's safe to plug up to the electric. I've only got a multimeter at the minute, I ain't got an insulation resistance tester, which probably would be better, but anyway, here's your three ends of your coils all connected together. Sometimes you'll have three, a row of three and a row of three, and all of them will be on separate ones, and you connect them together on one side for star. And then the other side you put your three lives, your three lines coming in. But on this one, they're all connected together there. Line one, two or three, whichever. So basically we're going to test between the ends of each coil. Make sure there ain't no shorts. So that one is 20. That one is 20. Let's move that one across. So basically they all come out roughly about 20 ohms. So that means all the coils are intact. No shorts to earth or to each other. And they've all pretty similar readings. I suppose I could test all three to that as well. So. So it's on the neutral. It's, re well, it's, on, it's on the other end of the the winding. Sorry, forget that. No neutral. So I'm just going to test between each one. Ten. 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 So it's just confirming really that every one of them coils has got the same resistance. Now I'm going to test between each one and earth. So I'll find a good earth. Test the earth, that should be really low ohms, pretty good. Now this should be open loop or over limit on every one. This is where your insulation resistance tester would really be good, but. Okay, so there's no leakage to earth on any of them coils. They all measure roughly the same. They all measure roughly the same to the uh, star point. So I'm pretty confident if Warren had up and put it on the three phase electric. 